Rotation of the Earth All spinning objects have an imaginary line called an axis on which they spin. Look at this top. It seems as though there is a line running through the center of the top. However, when the top stops spinning, the line vanishes. The Earth too has an axis which passes through the North and South Poles. The Earth also spins around its axis. Can you spot the difference between the Earth's axis and the axis of the top? The axis of the top is vertical, but the axis of the Earth is slightly tilted. It is at an angle of 23 and a half degrees. The spinning of the Earth around its axis is called rotation. The rotation of the Earth always takes place in the same direction, from west to east. Do you know how much time the Earth takes to rotate on its axis once? The Earth takes 24 hours to spin around its axis once. Look at this ball. The side of the ball facing the torch receives light, while the opposite side remains dark. While the Earth rotates around its axis, only half of its surface faces the sun. The portion that faces the sun receives light and experiences day, and the portion in darkness experiences night. If the Earth did not rotate, the areas experiencing day and night would be permanently fixed. Do you know what the circle that divides the day from night on the globe is called? It is called the circle of illumination. When the sun is overhead at any point on the earth's surface, the time at that place is 12 noon. As the earth moves from the west to east, the dark half gradually faces the sun. This movement produces dawn and dusk, the periods of diffused light between day and night. The part of the day just before the sun rises in the east is called dawn. The part of the day when the sun sets in the west and there is still some light is called dusk. Can you give another word for dusk? Another word for dusk is twilight. When we are in a moving train, the objects outside, such as the trees and buildings, seem to be moving in the opposite direction. However, in reality, they are still, while the train moves. Similarly, the sun's position is fixed. It is the earth that rotates from west to east. But to us, the sun appears to rise in the east and set in the west. The countries in the eastern part of the globe experience sunrise earlier than the countries in the west. Can you name the country known as the land of the rising sun? The land of the rising sun is Japan. Internal Structure of the Earth Revolution of the Earth The Earth moves around the Sun in a fixed elliptical path. The path is called its orbit. The Earth moves in its orbit at a speed of 30 kilometers per second. All planets also move around the Sun in fixed orbits. Each planet has a different orbit so that they don't bump into each other The movement of the Earth around the Sun is called revolution. What is the difference between the Earth's rotation and revolution? The spinning of the Earth on its axis is called rotation, while the movement of the Earth around the Sun is called revolution. The Earth takes 365 days, 6 hours and 8 minutes approximately 365 and one-fourth days to complete one revolution around the sun. That is why a year has 
365 days. Though the Earth takes 365 and one fourth days to complete one revolution around the Sun, we take 365 days as one year. The remaining one fourth days are added to the year after every four years. The year with 366 days is called a leap year. To which month in a leap year do we add the extra day? In a leap year, we add the extra day to February. The Earth's axis is always inclined in the same direction at an angle of 23 and a half degrees to the vertical. This inclination of the Earth's axis together with the Earth's revolution around the Sun causes seasons. Do you remember what is the Earth's axis? The imaginary line around which the Earth rotates is known as its axis. The equator divides the Earth into two halves known as hemispheres. In position A, the northern hemisphere is more tilted towards the sun than the southern hemisphere. Thus, in this position, the northern hemisphere is hotter and experiences summer. Meanwhile, the southern hemisphere experiences winter. In position B, the sun's rays fall directly on the southern hemisphere, while they fall on the northern hemisphere in a slanting manner. What season will the southern hemisphere have in position B? When the earth is in position B, the southern hemisphere will be hotter and it will be summer there. Meanwhile, the northern hemisphere will experience winter. Equi means equal and nox means night. Equinox is the time when all places on the earth have equal duration of day and night. Each year, on 21st March, the spring equinox the sun shines directly on the equator. Again on 23rd September, the autumn equinox, the sun shines directly on the equator. Sol means the sun. Solistis means the standing still of the sun. Solistis is either of the two times of the year at which the sun reaches its highest or lowest point in the sky at midday. In the Northern Hemisphere, June 21st is the longest day and December 21st is the shortest day.